Hi, welcome again to my channel. Um, I won't be playing today because um, my next video I intended to upload is a comparison between two of my latest acquisitions. The um, Gibson um, Special Tribute Model and the Harley Benton TV Yellow Tribute Model. <coughs> now, uh, I wanted to make a, I wanted to give the the Harley Benton a, a fighting chance against the, you know, it's the underdog against the well-established Gibson brand. Um, in order to do that, the longer I play that um, Gibson uh, special in black um, tribute model, um, I realised that there's a difference why, I mean, to get one new, they average between 1,700 and sort of 1,400, 1,500 pounds. That's a quite, you know, to some, to most people, a, a chunk of change compared to the Harley Benton uh, special um, with the um, P90 pickups, about 220 pounds. It's a massive um, gap between the two in price, you know. Now, it was the first time I literally um, came across uh, or tried a, a guitar with a P90 pickup and to my surprise, I, I kind of loved it. Um, but the more I played um, the actual Gibson, I realised there's a difference why there's such a, a, a kind of wide gap in the price. I thought, well, why is this so expensive compared to something like that? Now, you know, I'll make this quite clear um, before I do that. You know, I'll probably mention it again. The reasons why people will spend their money, invest their money, should I say, um, in in well-known brands like, say, the top two, Gibson and Fender, because apart from um, some people actually are dealers and, and they're collectors, and they realise that they... The, the, the kind of retention um, um, in money, it, it retains its value a lot better than um, brands um, like Harley Benton, for example. Um, but in terms of somebody wanting, a lot of people get, get, get inspired to get a certain type of guitar based on their perception or, or people they followed in the past. And they wanted to get a guitar like their kind of heroes to try to emulate that kind of feeling and that experience without spending a lot of cash. Hence, they'll go to um, budget-friendly brands like um, Harley Benton. Um, I mean, see, you know, take my hat out to Harley Benton because they saw a gap in the market where they're literally kind of, um, as it words, exploited or, or, or capitalised, that's probably a better word, on bringing out affordable, well-made guitars on, on average. Now, the more I played, as I said, the more I played the um, um, Gibson, um, I realised that the Harley Benton couldn't compete. There's certain things. Now, a lot of things I'm going to say is based on my own opinion um, and feelings about it. Um, I, I kind of... Um, a lot of things, you know... It's okay, but a lot of things I wasn't totally happy about because I realised after playing the Gibson, um, I had to make some adjustments to the and make some a few minor upgrades. So in order for it to uh, be a, a kind of fair comparison, um, so what I did, if I like to uh, show you what I did. Okay, right. This is the Harley Benton. It's on my desk. Um, TV Yellow Special. Lovely guitar. Now, the first thing I did, I changed the bridge. A lot of people, you know, I've been on um, um, various um, kind of sites, not sites, um, YouTube channels, and they were saying they had a problem with this. They said they couldn't get it low enough. Well, that wasn't the problem with this at all. Um, when I experimented, I could get it really low till it started buzzing. So 
I don't see why they found it a problem. But having said that, compared to the, um, the Gibson Les Paul Special, see it's got that kind of lightning bolt sort of bridge. I basically ordered one from eBay, very similar. Can you see that? Yeah. And you can adjust it at the back. It's got the screws at the back for the intonation, just like the Harley Benton. Okay, but it looks much more pure, and it's simple. This is this is a, this is a chunky bridge. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, but you know, compared to that, it looks more pure. Okay, so, and also when I was adjusting the nut, you know, they said I don't know if it's I have to go back and check the specs. They said the nut was, um, I don't know, was it a graphite? I don't know. I, mean, I don't think it was, but I know a little kind of test I can make sure. Because this is the, what I did, the actual nut, I basically kind of, um, the original nut, I kind of messed it up slightly, trying to make it lower. But and I thought, no, I need to get rid of it. I need to get a bone nut. Because if I do an experiment, okay. With a bone nut, this is a bone nut, and that's the Harley Benton original nut. If I drop it on the table, can you see it's a kind of dead sound? As opposed to a bone, it's got a, a resonance to it. Can you hear that? Sorry. Right. That translates to the sound. That's why a lot of luthiers swear by using bones as opposed to generic plastic, whatever it is, okay? So what I did, I ordered one, again, from um, eBay, from Vanson. Now, these, this is very peculiar because this is the traditional type of nut you get. But this one is different. I've never seen it before. It's got, like, scallops in it. But they are equally, um, obviously, measured the actual dimension off the neck and ordered one and they've got scallops between where you place the strings you can see that um, and it's bone perfect fit I just had to sand down the edge just a bit to make it lower as possible and it was a perfect fit so I've changed the the nut um, took out the original nut from the Harley Benton and replaced it with a bone nut and replaced the tail piece on it. It's much, much more, if you can see the difference, it's much more appealing, do you think? Well, I think so. Yeah. Right. So, what I'm going to do, and it, it, it plays beautiful, I, I kind of, I'm going to give it a, a few days Make sure the strings are stretched. Um, the intonation I, I've done as well. Just to make sure, just to settle it in a bit, okay? And then I'll pit these two, the Harley Benton, against the Daddy. Um, and to see which one comes out on top, yeah? It'd be a very comprehensive um, comparison. Um, I'm quite excited about it. Um, and it will give surprising results. Now, you know, each to its own, each to his or her own. Um, you will judge by what sounds better to you. But you know, you've got to also um, factor in the feel. You can't feel what I'm playing, and I'll try to relay that um, as comprehensively as possible. But you know, spoiler alert: this this. This actually is um, a far superior guitar than the Harley Benton. But having said that, I do love this. I'm gravitating towards this a lot. Um, I made adjustments for somebody who's looking who's on a budget. They can't afford a lot. <laughs> they um, won't, won't, won't be disappointed with this once it's set up because the most important factors to, you know, any guitarist learning or experience on or, or, or kind of um, um, kind of medium player whatever um, the feel is the first thing is very, very important if the guitar doesn't feel 
you're going to play well and the tone so I've done my best I can okay to um, give you um, you know make sure that it, it's it's set up properly so both of them can do battle okay and once that's done um, um, <laughs> you can tell me what you think anyway that is a very very short video for now okay um, yeah that's a very very short video um, but just to kind of lay the groundwork of, of what I'm preparing um, to upload um, as I said I want to kind of um, um, really kind of make sure that they're fighting fit um, and ready to, to kind of go um, and then when it's done you'll, you'll see it so please subscribe if you haven't and and in order to say don't miss it they want you know the early bird catches a worm uh, I've been told you can press a um, notification button um, you know I'm all new to this um, where it says subscribe you've got like a bell icon you can press on that so as soon as I've uploaded it it won't be it won't be long a few a few days or so just give it I want to give it a uh, I want to have a chance to kind of stretch the strings, make sure it stays in tune, etc, etc, before I upload it and everything is all set. Uh, I've got all the, make sure I set all the tones. Um, while I'm there, let me quickly show you uh, my, my pedal board. So you can... Um, um, that's a new acquisition I got there. Um, it, it's a, a kind of... Um, handmade uh, hand wired handmade um, Klontype pedal uh, that one that's a, a kind of um, a, an octave divider type of thing and that's the, the blues pedal um, it, it's a fiber trim tremolo vibrato so you can see my um, digitex screaming blues on my favorite pedals and uh, I've added this to the flip uh, fretboard um, that's um, a blues breaker pedal that's my graphic equalizer the power source so it's very simple basic pedal that's my my amp uh, the PV1 1112 and the PV30 okay um, so that's the kind of um, amps I'll be using okay right right as I said before um, <sighs> Just an update and let you know what, what, what I'm preparing to upload soon. But for now, I'll say ta and um, keep your eyes peeled for that upcoming video. Bye for now.